Josh, what an absolute That's massive play to play. Is he going to get the one shot? He gets the one hit, the one the one hit KO! Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Fight for First. If you guys follow me on Twitter, and I mean, I don't blame you if you don't. I'm pretty annoying. But if you do, you will have seen that this team actually peaked at a third place on the Battle Spot ladder. We were like 1944 in the US, not the world. Um, but since then, we've had some not so good games. So we're back down to like 1836. And some of them are not my fault. I mean, some of them are definitely my fault, but some of them were pretty unfair. So, it's okay. We're, we're working our way back up. I think, um, oh, Aichi, that's where I went to Japan. That's the province I was in. Anyway, um, so we're going to climb back up. I'm going to just, today's the 15th. The season resets tomorrow on the 16th. I'm just going to shoot a bunch of battles right now, and I'm just going to upload them twice a day. So instead of the road to ranked, we're just going to do five for first all the way through the week, and then start the next season um, a little bit late. And that's going to reset everyone back to 1500. So it's going to be great. It's going to be great. And we'll talk about maybe new teams, maybe. But um, third place, not too shabby. I probably have a picture I showed you. So it's true. I'm not lying. Let me write this down real quick because this guy actually seems like a good guy. Zapdos is a problem. Garchomp, who does that? That's probably because he has the Intimidate option with the Gyarados already. Um... Uh, is he afraid of my Thunderous? I I mean, Thunderous Landorus here really seems like a slam dunk. Um, I mean, worst comes to worst, he leads to Zapdos, he HP ices me. But I'll go for a... I'll double into him. I'll double into the Zapdos if he does that. That being said... My Kangaskhan. Uh, do we want Cockledare? This is a this is a toughie. Conkleder is actually pretty useful. Especially if I wish to switch it into the um, HPS capping from the Zapdos. But if I do that, I'm going to be short on ways to take out the Aegislash. The thing is, though, my Bishar is pretty useless against the Hydreigon. I'm bringing Bishar, but it's only because I need to get rid of Aegislash. Gosh, Age of Slash is just a freaking headache. All right, we'll see how this goes. Ooh. Ooh, loo, loo, loo. What do we have here? Zapdos. One of those has got to be Zapdos and Hydreigon. No, what is this? This is my Nationals lead. What are you doing? Well, the Hydreigon scarfed. Oh god, a Conkle Dare would be awesome here. Mm-hmm. Well, if I were him, I would fake out Draco. The lander is spot. I'm gonna Thunder Wave this, this Hydragon and switch into my Steel-type, which is probably gonna take this terribly, but... I mean, this is the steel type I chose to go with. I mean, I don't think it's uh, it's not the right play, but I don't know. I just needed the Defiant, and I needed it to be steel. I need Defiant and KO Sylveon on one shot, you know? So, but... Why? Why would you do that? What about getting super-powered? Oh, it's Tailwind. It's not even Scarfed. Ooh. Ooh la la. Okay, that's interesting. Um, well, I'm going to intimidate you again. I throw up the Thunder Wave on probably the con. Yeah, Kangaskhan's a pretty big threat overall. I wonder if he's expecting that, though. He's already at minus one. He'll be at minus two. I probably don't need to. I could probably just... Do it to the Hydreigon. I'm going to do the Hydreigon. He might try to protect the Kangaskhan. Yep. Garchomp. Zapdos. Hey. Hey, that would have that been a good play. Uh, I'm going to run away. He might Draco the, uh, the Thunderous. He very well might. 
but uh, we'll be okay. Come on, come on. Show me we'll be okay. I was hoping for an earth power into Bishar, but that's just me being hopeful. It's not what he should have done. I don't think that's what he did do. Oh, we'll never know. Hey, that's handy. Okay, that's cool. Um, that being said, let's move on to two turns of Tailwind. What's the Zapdos going to do? What's the Zapdos going to do? I'm really afraid it's going to HP Ice me. Go back to Bisharp. Um, let's see, Hidden Power is 60, 120 power. Thunderbolt's what, 90, 135, so that's stronger. I'll go ahead and Thunderbolt the Zapdos. And I'm doing this because if he clears my Thunderous, I can send out Landorus, threaten the, to one-shot the Hydreigon and the Zapdos all at the same time. That's the plan, if we can get the damage up. Hoping for the HP Ice Draco. There's the HP. Ice, yep. We can survive that. That's one of the few things Bisharp can actually survive. Put it into KO range. That's awesome. That's right. Okay, we're right. We were right, though. Actually, you know what? I'm not even... I'm not even going to send in Landorus. I'm not going to send Landorus at all. We're going to Kangaskhan. Um, did he bring Aegislash? Here's what's up. We keep the Zapdos. I'm doing anything. Not gonna Mega. Not mega -ing. I'm power punching into the Hydreigon without the Mega. He's either gonna switch to save it or he's gonna leave it in. And it's already been minus two. I don't care. Um, don't, don't roost. Don't roost with Zapdos. But, uh. He might switch to Aegislash. I wouldn't be surprised if he brought Aegislash. You usually do that when you see a Kangaskhan. You could very well just switch it in right now. Um, to try to avoid whatever I was about to do, like the low kick. But, uh... Oh, Garchomp for the rough skin. That's cool with me. Here comes this. This should get it. This should get it. This should get it. This should get it. Nice. So now we know. And this way, I only take one thing of rough skin. I still get the plus. Ew. Okay, cool. And there goes your Tailwind. That's fine with me. That means I get to KO your Hydreigon when you come in. Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, that's gonna be awesome. Uh, he might bring in. Hmm, he's gonna bring in Khan. Mm. If he brings in Khan, I protect my Khan. Uh, Mega switch in Landorus. If he doesn't. Okay, yeah, that's what he did. I wonder if you'll see that coming. This might be too obvious, but uh, too late. His speed's gonna be faster than me anyway. I don't wanna take damage. I don't wanna take the low kick. Um, I can bring in my Landorus, be faster than him, and threaten with a. Well, yeah, I, the, 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 the superpower now takes out everything in, in, on his field on the right side. He can't switch it. He has fake out, so he probably doesn't have protect. So if it comes in the field, um, if it survives the turn into the field, it's gonna be fine. Uh, and we're actually gonna pick up a KO couple KOs actually it's gonna be clean it's gonna be a clean turn it just has to survive this turn and I don't even know if he could take it out he'd have to like really really double into it with a dragon claw return which would be absolutely nuts so um, yeah because if he burns a fake out here and shows us that he has fake out which he did once already he probably doesn't have protect yeah he doesn't know that I have protect so he probably hit it because he's gonna be afraid of a plus one Kangaskhan yeah 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 yeah, perfect. This is it. Kangaskhan's here. Doesn't want to take the superpower, but he probably doesn't have protect anyway. So, superpower. Um, I'll return the spot too. I'm max speed. His low kick won't get me because um, of the intimidate now. If he switches, the superpower's going to get the Hydreigon. If for some reason he's super bulky and the superpower doesn't get him, my return will. And then we'll just take a minus one Dragon Claw, and I don't care about that. So, this should this should work out. Okay, cool. He's got the bulk, which means that we have the speed. Which means that we have the speed. There it is. So the con goes down. Do 
Uh, we take this thing out whenever we get a chance. Uh, yeah. The thing is, does he protect this turn or does he not? Is that Dragon Claw enough damage? Do we need to switch out Landris again? Okay. Um. I mean, worst comes to worst. The guard chomp's already faster than us, right? Here we go. Switching Landers to Bisharp. Protecting Khan. Okay, I'm actually expecting his Hydreigon to try to protect this turn. Um, that way I don't just hit it into it randomly. And when I switch in Landers the next turn, when after his Protect is up, he'll be intimidated again and I'll survive the Dragon Claw for sure. Um, and even if he's Tailwinded since he's been paralyzed, I'm still going to be faster. So my protect here should be pretty safe. Minus, we're barring, you know, not getting crit. If we get crit, it throws off the whole calculation. That's why crits are bad. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Uh, yeah, there's this. I, mean, I doubt he Earthquake, but even if he does, it doesn't matter. Yeah, another Dragon Claw. He went probably for a Tailwind, but like I said, the Guard Chomp's already faster. It doesn't matter to us. Um, so here comes Landris again. We survived the, we survived the Dragon Claw for sure. We return into the Hydreigon. Now, if he pulls a Protect now, we're going to have to double into the Garchomp next turn. Um, probably with a Sucker Punch. Yup. Probably something like that. But uh, we should take this, and we should be able to survive. Um, yeah, we should be able to survive. Come on, no crit. Perfect. Plus one's going to be plenty. Um... And notice by not Mega Evolving before, like we save that extra health, and that extra health actually could always make or break the game. You know, if we had taken another turn of rough skin and we had a couple different damage rolls, like that could be a KO'd Kangaskhan and that would be bad. So, pretty happy with how this is playing out. I mean, I'd love to Earthquake, but like, I'm gonna Earthquake. Protect. And then uh, after doing the damage, we'll switch in Bisharp again. We'll get a third Intimidate out here. Um, yeah. Nice. Because otherwise, what am I going to do? Superpower it? I don't want to do that. There's actually plenty of damage now. But we'll switch out just because we can. And this way, I can lock him down with the Sucker Punch. And we can see how much. Oh, okay, forfeited. Okay, wow. Way to go, team. Way to go. That was a 19-something, so that means we're actually going back up. Woo! Woo! So, the climb is real. Thanks so much, guys, for being here. We're about to end out the season. Um, peaking at third's pretty good. I actually have... I've been working on <laughs> that team-building video I promised you guys forever. It's a doozy, though, so it's going to take me a while. But uh, it actually goes through the process of how this team evolved from episode... I think we started on 66, and all the way up to 92 is when we hit top 10 and battle spot so i think it's gonna be a pretty cool episode thanks so much for being here guys your support keeps me doing this i wouldn't do this if i didn't get you guys support so even if you leave a comment once and you thought like oh he never sees that i see it i read it and it makes me make more it really does so those are always really appreciated likes on the video too that's all i always look at the analytics i spend i spend too much time on my analytics actually but anyway thanks so much for being here see you guys hopefully soon with a couple more of these battles and um yeah, talk to you later.